Let's talk about nutrients and your lifespan. How much of an influence do nutrients have on how long you live? The first thing to know is that you are as strong as your weakest link, okay? How do people die nowadays? Either they get cancer, heart attack, their kidneys fail, they end up with a respiratory infection that they die of some lung infection. So there's various weaknesses within our bodies that fail and then that shorten our lifespan. So if we dig down into what makes up an organ and a, or a gland is you have the DNA. So really what's happening at the cellular level is you're getting DNA damage, okay? You're getting breaks within the DNA. And then what's happening is your body's trying to repair it really fast. Per day, each cell, you're having about 60, thousand sets of DNA that are being damaged on a, on a daily basis and your body's coming in and repairing that. When you fail to repair the damage or the free radical damage is too strong, then you start aging, you start breaking down in certain organs, uh, you start getting chronic uh, inflammation and it, you, you become susceptible to getting disease. So if you have two people in a plane, okay, and one person gets sick, the other person doesn't, even though there could be a virus in the plane, that person that got sick got sick because their resistance was lower. They were more susceptible to getting that virus or bacteria. And this is what you need to know, the importance of nutrients in keeping your DNA and your genes stable and strong. I want to show you a report by an author, uh, Bruce Ames. Okay, Bruce Ames is 91 years old. He's a professor of biochemistry and molecular biology at Berkeley. He's going strong. Incredible uh, review. DNA damage from micronutrient deficiencies is likely to be a major cause of cancer. What? DNA damage from micronutrient deficiencies? That would be vitamins and minerals. Is likely to be a major cause of cancer? This is what he says. A deficiency of any of the micronutrients, folic acid, B12, B6, niacin, that's B3, vitamin C, vitamin E, iron, or zinc, mimics radiation and damaging DNA. Wow. So here you have this damaged DNA from radiation, UV light, pollution, bad foods, etc. But I bet you never thought nutritional deficiencies could cause the same damage as radiation. That's a pretty powerful statement. But the question is why? Because all of these nutrients are involved in the repair action. They're involved in keeping the DNA stable. And if you're missing a nutrient at a certain level, you're going to be susceptible to some type of breakdown in the system. Now, Bruce Ames also talks about the triage theory. Okay. Now, in medicine, triage is this. If you have all of these patients coming in that are sick, you want to be able to delegate your resources to the ones that need the help the most, okay? So you're actually rationing out your energy on the most severe cases, okay? Well, guess what? The body does the exact same thing. So if you have a subclinical nutritional deficiency, you're not fully, completely deficient, but you have somewhat of a deficiency, the body's going to ration out those nutrients to the short-term survival um, proteins or enzymes, okay? And what's going to suffer is the genes and enzymes that are involved in longevity and repair. And in this paper, Bruce Ames talks about how these deficiencies subclinically shorten your lifespan and set you up for getting cancer. Now, the question is, what would be some of the clues or red flags or symptoms of having a shorter lifespan or having cancer? There really isn't any. You just one day you die of a shorter lifespan or you just get cancer. So there's not a lot of symptoms. So that means it doesn't draw a lot of attention for you to do something about it. The only way you're going to know about this is watching this video and understanding this huge connection between making sure that you have all the nutrients in your diet, eating foods that are nutrient dense and how important that is to bulletproof your genes and your DNA down the road to extend your life and hopefully postpone or prevent cancer. So my main goal for this video is to emphasize the huge importance of nutrients on your health and especially longevity and preventing cancer and other problems. Down below in the description, I put down a list 
of the foods that have the highest nutrients that you should be eating on a regular basis. Check it out and thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.